Okay, I just picked up my Kyriak and floorboards. Here they are. A little bit better quality than your cheapy floorboards. A little bit more costly too, but they kind of fold up like that. They come wrapped in some really nice bubble wrap so that they're not scratched or anything. And then whatever bike you have, you order the set of adapters that go with it and it will fit pretty much any bike. So like here is the adapter that came for my particular bike, Triumph America. Pretty much all the common bikes, cruiser bikes, have these. So you just get on JMP Cycles. That's where I ordered mine from, JMP Cycles. And pretty much the main adapters come with a little spacer to fit your particular foot peg. And then all that's holding the foot peg on right now is just a pen with a C-clip on the other one. So I'm just going to take the screwdriver and flip the C-clip off the back end here. Um, I think everybody pretty much knows how a C-clip works, so I don't really have to uh, show you a close-up of that. If you need to, you could probably look on YouTube and find out how to remove a C-clip. Okay, so, get here a little bit closer. And there it is right there. That's the little C-clip right there, if you can see it, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, if you've never seen it before, look on YouTube. Not hard, just screwdriver will flip them off. They've got special tools, but you don't really need a special tool. And then we just pull the pin out. There's a spring there, so. And that's it. Pin in the C-clip. And there's your foot peg and the spring. So that's all there is taking it apart. And now, put the adapter in place. So, they've got this little spacer deal that captures the pin, I mean captures the spring. So I pull that out, I put the spring in like this, put it back in. I don't think I'm going to need the spacer in this case. I wonder if the spacer is for another application. Okay, we'll go without the spacer then. So I think it's going to work without it. There you go. Pretty sure. Okay, let's try it without the spacer. to work without it, so I'm guessing in some cases you use the spacer, in some cases you don't. I've got to read the instructions now, since I've already figured it out for myself, I'll read the instructions and then see. Get my reading glasses out here. If you notice, we've got five different holes here, so you can adjust it up and down, back and forward to whatever is comfortable for your foot and then you can obviously change the angle too as far as like this and this, this and this, and then your angle. So you've got a very huge range of adjustment to be able to make these work. So now let's look at the instructions and see if I, my uh, idea came out right. It says here that the spacer should fit, but I don't think there's any way the spacer can fit myself. Because it isn't even the right size for the hole. We can try it. Let me, oh, it does kind of fit in there. Okay. Let's see if I, I did get it to fit. Okay, can I can it fit in the pen too though? Okay, let's try it from the top. It says you can do it from the top or the bottom. But the problem is, yeah, if I put the spacer in, the problem is that then the pen isn't long enough and they don't include a pen, so. If I don't include a long enough pen that I'm aware of.
hole seems to be the exact same size as stock anyway, so I don't really see a need for this spacer. I mean, it could be used if I had a longer one of these because it takes up and makes this so that it can't go in quite as far. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to go without the spacer and just trust my own judgment that I've got it figured out the right way. So we'll simple it back on. Usually you can do that just by fingers. Sometimes you might need the screwdriver to help it along, but yep, now it's secure and in place, so now it's just a matter of mounting it the preferred way, and I've got to kind of make an educated guess here as to how I would like it to go. So I'm going to say in the middle or the end, I think. I think this is, this one looks a little bit too far away. So, I don't know. I'll try the middle one to start with and see, and if not, I'll move it a little bit different when I sit on the bike. I say this is the hard part of actually doing this job is your adjustments, because if you don't get it right the first few times, obviously, you have to keep trying again and again until you do get it right. So. Where did I say? I said the middle top one there. That's right about there. Put the washer in place. Put this in place. Kind of line it up. What I'll probably do is just do it. To start with, I'm just going to do it finger tight. Until I decide that it's really where I want it to be. Oh, that's about exactly where I like it. Yep, maybe down just slightly lower that way, but not by much. I think I'll stick with that. Top middle one. Yeah, now I can rest my feet like this, but I can get by the shifter. So I think that's about it right there. Now to get the correct Allen wrench, which I'm guessing it's metric. Probably actually I'll add a washer to that too for my own kind of spacer. To make that just a little bit tighter. And maybe change it over to a stainless steel washer. Now that I know what my adjustment is that I like, that's the main thing. Okay. Yep, I'll probably add a little spacer to that. Let's see if I got a washer. I might even have a stainless steel washer handy. side which is exactly what this side is so I'm not gonna do another video you kind of get the idea of how it's done and I think they look decent so I'm happy with them I think the second one will probably take about 10 minutes to install I'm gonna get the idea <laughs> 